Hello, my name is Dwight Larson, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Maxim Integrated. And today I would like to demonstrate for you the Max 16545 BEV Kit. The Max 16545 BEV Kit 120 pound demonstrates both the Max 16545B and the Max 16543 devices. The Max 16545 BEV Kit is equipped with one Max 16545B master device as well as two Max 16543 follower devices. The 16545B is capable of handling 60 amps current, and each follower device adds 30 amps current capability. If you wish to reconfigure the EV kit for lower current capability, there are instructions in the EV kit datasheet that explain how to remove one or both of the followers to achieve a 60 amp or 90 amp solution. The overcurrent protection threshold of the device is set by the ROCP resistor connected to pin 18, and this is R23 in the EV kit. This resistor can be chosen to set a current limit from 30 to 120 amps. Similarly, the full scale PM bus telemetry for the part is set by the RI load resistor connected to pin 2. This is R22 in the EV kit. The EV kit features cable lugs to attach large current cables to the input, as well as banana jack inputs for typical bench instruments. And the same thing at the output. It has cable lugs for output cables and banana jacks for the output. There are test points for all the key signals, including enable, power good, fault, and other signals on the EV kit. The enable switch allows you to enable and disable the output. It features a TVS and an output shot key diode, and it has pads for input and output capacitors, which can be populated to emulate the system that you're trying to simulate or evaluate. To connect the EV kit, we need to establish power and signal monitoring connections. Input power to the EV kit is connected at the banana jacks in the upper right corner with ground and two volts input. Similarly, a load can be connected to the output jacks. For higher current, use the cable lugs at the input and output to connect heavy cables. Maxim's PM bus GUI can be connected to the 16 pin header on the left side of the circuit board. The oscilloscope probes for enable, power good, and fault can be connected to the test points in the lower left corner of the circuit board. The EV kit is enabled by flipping the switch to the enable position, at which point the toggle will illuminate green to indicate that the EV kit is enabled and the output is good. Maxim provides graphical user interface software to connect to the PM bus interface of the Max 16545B. Telemetry data is pulled continuously and is displayed in the graphical user interface. In this case, the output of the EV kit is being enabled and disabled using the switch, and we can see the read vout data updating accordingly. All devices on the bus will be shown on the dashboard display of the GUI. Clicking on a detail tab for a specific device pulls up all the commands for that device, as can be seen here. In the PMS command tabs, we have configuration commands, fault settings, monitoring commands, and other commands. On the Max 16545B, it's important to change the RI load resistor value in the GUI to match the value that's on the board so that read IO telemetry is accurate. If I enable the output of the EV kit with 660 microfarads of added output capacitance, we can see that the output rises at about 600 volts per second, and the inrush current is about 500 milliamps. The power good is asserted, and the output starts up normally. If I enable the EV kit with the same setup, but with the load turned on and demanding 30 watts, we can see that the inrush current rises rapidly to 16 amps, at which point the Max 16545 shuts down on a startup OCP event. When a fault occurs on the EV kit, it will be displayed in the GUI by the fault indicator LED turning red and the output dropping to zero. Clicking on the Detail tab for the device allows us to see the fault information in more detail. We can look at the PM bus command data and change it to hexadecimal format, which makes it easier to see the bit settings. We also have the ability to look at each of the fault flags individually in the View Faults Bit by Bit window. When you wish to reset the part, simply click the Send Clear Fault button, which sends the Clear Faults command and resets all the status registers back to their normal state. 
Thank you for watching this brief introduction to the Max 16545B EV Kit 120 Pound. This is the evaluation kit for the Max 16545B and Max 16543 devices. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the Maxim website where you can download the EV Kit datasheet and the IC datasheets, as well as contact Maxim for answers to other questions.